It's actually kind of working. Zero dancing involved. For a while now, I've been meaning to make more TikTok videos, but just a mix of laziness, uncomfortableness, and the fact that maybe it was just going to get banned had deterred me. But I am no longer deterred, and I have what I think is a viral video idea. And I think that because it is just copying another viral video. And that video is by Tom Scott, where he made a YouTube video where the title updates based off of the YouTube API. And so you can see the number of views in the video title. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do the same thing, but for TikTok, Zoomers will be impressed, right? There's just one small problem. As far as I'm aware, when you post a TikTok, after that, you just can't update anything. The caption is like set in stone, so there's no updating that. And of course, you can't touch the video. So what I'm gonna have to do instead is update the profile. So the idea is whenever someone likes, comments, shares, all that jazz, I'm going to just take those numbers and put it in my profile. And I have no clue if that's good enough. To get this to work, I'm gonna have to create a bot that uses TikTok's public API, if that exists, because I'm not sure if it does. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to see if I can use the private API. Well, I'm not gonna see, I'm just gonna use the private API. But they might have some security in place where they don't want just random people accessing that. It doesn't look like there was a public TikTok API, but I found two unofficial wrappers for the API. One of them is with Python, that's this one here. And then the other one is with JavaScript that's here, but neither of them look like you can use it to actually edit a profile, which is kind of the main thing that I need to do. So I think I'm on my own here. I did go ahead and just check if I can on like TikTok's website, if they have ability to edit the profile. They don't, it doesn't look like there is. So what I'm gonna have to set up is look at the requests that my phone makes when I have the TikTok app open and see if I can reverse engineer that. What you're looking at right here is man in the middle proxy, or as I like to call it, MIT proxy. And I have it just running on my computer. And so I can now see all the requests that my phone makes. So I had to like install the certificate on my phone and now I can see it all right here. But the thing is I went to TikTok and I actually tried editing my profile. And for whatever reason, it actually doesn't even let me save the profile. But I don't see any requests in the log right here whenever I hit save. So. TikTok is like detecting I'm using a proxy and not letting me even make a request so that way I can see the headers or something. After quite a bit of research, I figured out a solution. And I think what the problem was is TikTok was using a technique called SSL pinning or certificate pinning. And what that does is it stops people from doing, well, exactly what I'm doing right here is setting up a proxy in the middle. But there's ways around that. But to do that, I would have to jailbreak my iPhone and I just was had none of that. I didn't want to do that. So instead, I rooted an old Android phone and basically did it there instead. And so there was this one special program you can use called Frida, which helps you get around the SSL pinning thing. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't even have to do that on Android. It just worked. I set up the proxy, I rooted my phone, and it just worked. But this is all to say that I found the request that TikTok makes to update my bio, and I can now programmatically update my bio. This is my Python bot that I just made. So how it works is I just have him running forever, and every 11 seconds he will run something. Because I didn't want to spam TikTok servers, I wanted to be a good TikToker. And uh, what he does is he requests basically the video that we need to get the stats for. And uh, if it doesn't work, I put try catches everywhere and I send myself a Slack message if it breaks because I'm pretty sure like somewhere along this way of it doing this, it's going to break or so the, like the requests are going to go bad or something. I'm going to have to refresh it. So I have a bunch of Slack messages and then also I'm keeping track of like the stats. That way I don't just like update my bio when I don't need to because it's very possible my TikTok just sits at zero likes, zero views, zero everything for a while. I didn't want to just like ping TikTok for no reason. Uh, and then after that, I just format a request or format my bio right here. I put the likes, shares, comments, and views in there. And then I just send a request to TikTok server to save my bio. I'm not going to run this on my computer because I want the bot to be going 24 seven and I don't want to leave my computer on overnight and stuff, but kind of more importantly, if TikTok gets mad and like bans the IP, I don't want it to ban my IP. So I'm going to be running it in a digital ocean box. I just bought a $5 one. I tested it. The requests go through. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. This might look like a simple TikTok, but don't be deceived. I just spent the last two days rooting my phone, reverse engineering the TikTok API to bring this to you. How it works is if you like, comment, share, all that jazz, when you do, 10 seconds later is going to show up in my bio, which means if two people like this TikTok, in my bio it says likes, 
two. I'm about to hit publish on my TikTok right here, but I have the website up because as soon as I hit that, I'm gonna refresh and grab the ID and update and start my bot right afterwards. So here we go, I'm hitting post. Allow, would like to access your photos. Allow access. Uploaded, you can share. I think we're live. Refresh. Yes. Grab that ID. Plug it. Save. We're now going to copy this into DigitalOcean. We're going to SSH into DigitalOcean. And now I'm going to run the script and I want to pipe the errors to a file. And then I want to run this in the background and bam, our bot's running. I just wanted to do that really fast. No one's actually going to like or see even see this for a really long time. This would be my guess. Maybe my 12 followers. We'll just wait and see now. Um, if one of them likes it and we get an update in our bio. Nothing has happened. It's been sitting at 000 for 20 minutes. And well, I took one for the team and I liked my own TikTok just to make sure it worked. And sure enough, it works. Um, but we're not quite viral yet. So we're just gonna let this puppy sit for a little bit and maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow and see, you know? Just an overnight success is what I'm hoping. We got bad news. We got real bad news. Okay, I just flew the camera on because I needed to go quickly and it's not working, so here we are. Well, it's working, but it's not working. People are watching the video now. We actually have views on the video. I don't know who's watching this, but they're watching, they're liking, but it broke, guys. It freaking broke, look at this. And I'm just like trying to save it right now, but it's it's unsavable maybe. I gotta move fast because time is of the essence here, but here's the problem. Here's the problem here, slow down, you're editing too fast. I can't update the bio anymore. I just hard coded the values to test cause you know, stuff just broke. And so I just have it hard coded now. And this was a few minutes ago I tried, I'm gonna try doing it again. <sighs> slow down, you're editing too fast. Basically we just got rate limited. We just got rate limited. I also got captured. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. I have to think rationally here. So we got two problems. Problem number one, I'm just getting straight rate limited by this, by how fast I'm updating. So we're gonna have to slow this down to update like every minute or something, something much slower. And then secondly, we have to figure out how to get around the CAPTCHA. And so for that, that's interesting. So I'm just gonna try getting a new request and see if we still get captured. Okay, the replacement is in place. I'm not happy about it, but it's kind of the best I can do right now. I'm still getting rate limited. But what I switched to is it now just I make a comment every five minutes and then I delete the previous comment. And so it just has like the most up to date values in a comment, which is trash because I don't even know if they see my comments at the top or if it's just going to get buried. But it's kind of just it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, we just took an L here. Believe it or not, I actually have some good news to share. A little bit before I went to sleep last night, the rate limit got lifted. So I was able to update my bio, and this is what I left my computer at before I went to sleep. And the comment thing that I was doing kind of broke really fast after I set it up, so I didn't bother with that and I just left it off. But I turned on my bot to update the bio again. But instead of updating the bio every 10 seconds or 11 seconds, I increased it to 10 minutes because I wanted to make sure that it worked because working is better than not working. And so I just left it on overnight and it actually worked. Or at least I haven't got any Slack notifications telling me it didn't work. So either that part broke or it's been working this entire time, but I don't know yet. I haven't actually looked. I just left it here and I was gonna refresh with you guys and we're gonna see what this is at. So yeah, let's let's just see what happens. Let's see where we're at. Oh my, it went mini viral. It went mini viral, guys. It's actually kind of working. I should add, make it, okay. So do I touch the code and add commas or do I just leave it without commas? We'll just leave it without commas, it's got flavor. Oh my goodness. People are actually watching it. So I didn't know if 10 minutes would just straight ruin the experience because it does kind of ruin the experience, but it works good enough that maybe it doesn't? I don't know. I was kind of worried we'd never recover because what happened is no one saw the TikTok. 
the TikTok algorithm decided to pump it up, show it to literally everyone, and then it stopped working. Literally the entire time everyone was coming, like we got, we went from zero to 2,000 views, like just instantly like that. And the algorithm or the rate limit was on that entire time. So all they saw in my bio was zero, zero, three likes and like 40 views. And I just looked like a giant scammer. And everyone called me a scammer in the comments. Well, I was a scammer, but you know, <sighs> you know what? It looks like it's good enough. We're, we're taking off. We're taking off a little bit. We got 146 followers now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Zero dancing involved. I think your code is behind, huh? Tom Scott did this for a title of YouTube video so it could be done. Yep, that's what I did for you. I like your funny words, magic man. Ooh, ooh. okay. Pretty sure this is bull unless you prove it, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Seems like there's a lag, but I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> wow, I think you're bad at coding. Adam, you are spot on. Either your programming has an error in it or you're just fake. Still works. Thank you, Ivan, ooh, ooh. They think I'm capping. They literally think I'm capping. I am capping, so. I think it's safe to say that this TikTok was a success. I was quite worried in the middle and a little bit tilted as well, but in the end it came through. And I think what surprised me the most was the TikTok's algorithm being so welcoming. I think I started with like 12 followers and it was able to get up to, we're now at 14,000 views. So that is amazing. And I didn't share this with anyone. I didn't tweet it. I just wanted to see what happened. I know I'm, I'm sharing this on YouTube now, but this is after the fact. So if you do want to make it help go, you know, even more viral, you're welcome to. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but the TikTok API, well, not API. API was less welcoming with its rate limiting. But, you know, if 10 minutes works, 10 minutes works. I'm not going to touch this, by the way. Uh, it's working. The Zoomers are enjoying it. Not going to touch it. It's not banning me. They're not giving me captures. We're just going to leave it and let them enjoy the TikTok. We'll see how far this goes. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. I started off as an average Joe, and a couple days later, I'm a famous TikToker. It's crazy what can happen.